Uh, I've been a big fan of his since uh, 1992, when I was 18 years old, and I saw him at Roseland's with the Beastie Boys and Lynch Mob, and I've just been following his writing ever since he stopped Thank with the music, you. so I'll keep following. As long as he keeps coming around, I'll be here. My name is Henry Rollins, and I'm embarking on a tour through every state capital in America, all the way up to November's presidential elections. I want to learn a few things, and knowledge without mileage equals bullshit. So come follow me into what Mark Twain called the territory. This is Capitalism 2012. Oh, hello. It's September 19th. I'm in Helena, Montana, capital city of the state of Montana. It's uh, beautiful outside. The quality of air is fantastic. Very, very small town. This is a real prison door. The building I'm standing in is the, the Myrna Loy Theater. Upstairs is where I'll be doing the show. A long time ago, this was a prison. In fact, it was a prison until the 1980s. Anyway, this is the uh, 10th show, I think, of the Capitalism Tour. In a few hours from now, I'll be upstairs doing a show. Sign here? Oh, okay. <laughs> you can smile, hey. There you go. Do you want a better one that you're not making that smile? Okay, go ahead. All right, this is all I've got. Now, I remember the first time I came to Montana was several years ago, and very, very impressed. That's a bit disingenuous, like, you have to impress me. I'm just saying that uh, uh, just the, the, the vast wide openness of it was just immensely gorgeous, especially to a city boy like myself, who's used to seeing great congestion and traffic all the time, to see a whole lot of gorgeous nowhere. It was you know, pretty damn cool. Yeah, just, just go for it. Yep, just go, yep, yep. <laughs> yep. Thank you. Sure. Hey, how do you do? Good. Um, I've seen you a couple times before. Right. I always just love you. Um, and you were talking in your show about giving women more self-esteem growing up and people in general. Do you think that it's important to make sure everyone has that esteem and to teach men as well as women? The men need it like there's no tomorrow because <laughs> men are bigger. You know, I'm not, you know, I'm not saying they're better or anything. I'm just saying, no. like, they can hold a woman down. Mm -hmm. They can dominate. Men really need to understand the power they have so they don't abuse it. And, of course, women have to learn to go, like, no, pal, that's just not, that's not going down. So everyone needs an upgrade. And, um, but the men, they really need to realize their, their physical power, their power to abuse, and, and how it's seen in society. Rape is rape, and we're done with that discussion. The fact that some of these people want to parse words on that topic, it's incredible to me. I can't believe they think they're going to get traction with anyone who shouldn't be in a damn cage. And so, little by little, I think we are moving up the road. We're losing the gills and the twitching tail. But, um, you know, it took America until, like, what, 1920 for women to be able to vote, the 19th Amendment. And so people like Susan B. Anthony, they got thrown in the hooskow for trying to vote. I mean, really? But there's so much in university, so it's so sexualized, the environment. And young people, they look good. I mean, they look good to each other. They're young, they're peaking, they're just fantastic structures. And they're away from home, and they're like, you're, you're hot, you're hot. Well, let's do this. And add beer and whatever else, ecstasy, ketamine, whatever. And you got a situation where not everyone's going home with a good result. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what you do about that besides educate. Education is always the way out. It's always the way out. It's always the answer. So yeah, but we have a ways to go. I'd like to think we're getting better. The time is 11.54 p.m. in Helena, Montana. This is my first time in Helena. The audience tonight, you could not have asked for a better audience. They were fantastic. I feel insanely lucky when I meet my audience. They're some of the damn coolest people ever. We're about to leave, apparently for a crushing drive to Cheyenne, Wyoming. So hang in there and get ready for another video entry on the Capitalism 2012 tour.